So let me just say, I like Killer Clowns a lot. I feel like you have to caveat it every time you say something that's negative, because I don't want to come off like I'm bashing the game, but I think it's realistic to say there's some things that need to be kind of addressed. Hey, we have to realize nowadays, just because we're critiquing something doesn't we don't like it. We still love you, Killer Clowns. Yeah. I wouldn't say love. I'm not, I'm not, we're not there yet. But no. we like you. We like you. We're in the courtship phase. There's interest. We yeah. like what you've shown us, but now we need to learn learn about your personality a little. Initial <laughs> attraction is there. Yeah. But do you, yeah, do you have the personality? <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, again, the looks are great. The DLC. Smoke show. The map, everything. <laughs> But the personality, the gameplay, here's what I'll say. I get a few games in and I'm, I'm pretty much good. I play two or three games and they're fun. I enjoy them. Don't really find the urge to stick around and play a lot more. Yeah, so it's funny because you know what the argument is, is people always say, oh, this is just for fun. And, you know, the people have said to us, you guys want this to be competitive like TCM. And it's like, no, 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 it, this game is just fun. I agree with you. And I also agree that I do get burned out after a few games, but it does need to be a little more competitive to give you that reason to like yeah, want okay. to compete. I mean, ga the games have to be competitive or else it's not fun at all. Yeah. Then so what are you playing? Like Mario? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's competitive too, though. <laughs> Everything's competitive. Here's the thing. I want it to be more competitive. I want more skill involved. And I want like, well, speaking of skills, I wish they had skills in the game. And apparently that was something they were going to put in or thinking about it. Skills on like the victims? Or like, clowns, uh, like where you could have attributes or like kind of like TCM have your different skills. You dude, know? it just builds out the character so much more. Like our <laughs> gameplay really is what it is. It's the game where you, it would nice to like be nice to load in with a custom loadout where you could have. I mean, you have a flashlight equipped, but maybe a med kit. Like, you could have an actual loadout. Because it feels very bland, I would say, in the game. Like, you kind of load in nothing, right? And then you have your objectives that you just do the same thing kind of over and over, which is fine. But you can't customize, other than the looks, you can't customize, like, your gameplay, really. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I, I agree. I think that'd be cool. I just think the overall, it's like, it's almost like a piece of art. It's hard to, like, identify why it just doesn't hit the spot for me. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I think it is the competitiveness. It's maybe the way the characters you even choose your characters. You don't, it doesn't have a whole lot of personality to it. Maybe it kind of, it kind of does, but you don't know the characters like you do in TCM. You basically just choose an archetype and that's it. That's what I'm saying. There's something missing, but even aside from that gameplay, just alone, it's just not quite there. It's fun. If you want to jump in, have fun. Sure. Do I think this is the best version of the game? No, I think it's going to get a lot better as time goes on, and it could be better. Well, let's speaking of that, let's talk about some stuff that's missing in this day one patch. First of all, if you're on Xbox, I'm sorry because it was late. <laughs> that sucked. That sucked. <laughs> the day one <laughs> patch, these poor guys had to like wait, I think, a couple days in order to get the patch, right? Yeah. Supposedly, crossplay is good to go. We haven't tried it. Let us know in the comments if, it is, if there's any issues. Hopefully, that's good. Okay, you already talked about it. Traps. There's a trapper clown, but yet there's no traps in the game. Yeah, and Sarah Myers in our chat said she had played a previous version with the traps. Shout Sarah. I guess the traps were so overpowered that they had to just yank him out of the game. Yeah. And again, it's crazy to me now that we have a clown called Trapper with no traps. Yeah, it's just, again, it comes down to like, there's just not a whole lot of different ways to play as a clown. Like you just cotton candy or kill them. Traps are something that need to be in the game. They just need to rework it. I don't know what the heck they had before. You make a simple trap though. Just make it like some like sticky cotton candy on the ground, right? Maybe. Let yeah. this guy spray cotton candy everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't need to, well, I guess we'll touch on it real quick. The cotton candy, like the ray guns, to me are jack. Like, I think the weaponry in general is kind of messed up in this game. Yeah, like, I, I, we've talked about it. It's like you're hitting people sometimes and it feels like it doesn't seem like the cotton candy is even registering. Yeah, and some of the weapons, like the charge rates and the wait times are absurd. Bro, that one that you put over your hand and then it slings. Yeah. That thing's terrible. Dude, it's... A lot of them, like the range is really short or if it does have longer range, it has to be like so accurate. It's not worth it. No, well, that one you charge and I'm like, okay, of course I was practicing on some bots like we do here. Hey, it's who we are. <laughs> hey, F you for judging. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I charge the thing up, hit the bot and it's like nothing happened. I would have expected like a one shot down with the way you have to charge that thing up. Dude. And that's, and I think that goes for most of the weapons. Like you charge and by the time it's charged, the victim is not near you. You can't hit them anymore. Yeah, it's a bummer. So I just think all the weaponry needs to be re reworked because it's really kind of more frustrating to like use those. I think that original ray gun is probably the best one. 
I was kind of thinking the same thing. Yeah. We'll have to test that out. I don't even remember if it was good though. Yeah. <laughs> so we have, yeah. So we have no traps. There's no skills like to customize like your gameplay. Uh, the preference system isn't in the game. Right. So, I mean, you can't really choose if you want to be clown more than victim You gotta, or uh, human. You got to kind of play them both. And then the Xbox late patch, we kind of talked about that. So there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done on clowns. And I haven't been, have they been talking much on socials? I haven't heard a lot. I mean, dude, it, honestly, they've done so much in such a short amount of time. They just had the release. I'm not expecting like a quick patch. I'd well, imagine I, a couple of weeks, but I haven't way, heard much on socials other than promotion, which they're, they're great at. <laughs> yeah. Well, and what I'll say, it seems like, at least to me, and I don't, like the game was kind of a little bit unfinished. Like the day one patch to me felt like fixing bugs that was supposed to be done earlier. And the actual day one patch is like pushed out. I agree. I mean, here's the thing. The game's fun. We, I enjoy, I think it's a fun game. I love what they're doing. I love killer clowns. I have fun playing the game, but like you said, after a couple of games, I just don't find myself wanting to keep going in there. I just get burned out quick. Yeah, I would say right now I'm more concerned with like the longevity of it. It needs to have some more depth in the game to keep people around and grinding it. I think clowns is going to be just fine. I just think people need to be patient. Do you think the majority of people like it or dislike it or in the middle? Uh, I would say most are probably like us where they're like, oh, it looks okay. It looks kind of cool, but something's missing a little. Let's be real. We all like to be competitive. Like I do too. We don't like being dicks about it, but we do enjoy competition. We understand if, because for the people out there say this game doesn't need to be competitive. If it's not competitive, then just one side will win all the time. That's what no competition is. Everyone wins. Yeah. The clowns. <laughs> how do the clowns and victims win? Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are trying to kill each other the whole game, right? It, yeah. So. You, there has to be competitiveness in the game to make it fun. And there's multiplayer games. And then you have to balance that to make it work. But to answer your question, the the comments I see mostly are people who really like it. Now, I don't, I don't know if it's just because it's a new release type thing. Most people are like, this game's great. If you say anything bad about it, it's like you're just hating on the game kind of. Yeah, I've seen that, which I'm like, no. We, shoot, we were like the biggest fans pre-launch. Oh, probably too big. Yeah, <laughs> I probably hyped it up too much, which I still like it. It's just, I'm we're honest, it's not where no. I would expect it to be. Or want yeah. it to be at. I don't know. Maybe we're wrong. Let us know in the comments.